Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate. Today's episode we're talking about James Marek and here we go. James Marek was a former CIA black ops and a member of the International Oversight Advisory who was tasked to watch over Stargate Command due to the fact that Richard Woolsey's time was being taken up by the Atlantis expedition. In 2007, he was first seen interrogating Tolman about his time as a commander of the ORI army. After this, he joined SG-1 on their mission to the Alteran home galaxy to find the Ark of Truth. While SG-1 was on Celestis searching for the Ark, he turned on and accessed the Asgard computer core of the Odyssey. It was later discovered when Lieutenant Colonel Cameron Mitchell and Lieutenant Colonel Samantha Carter returned to the ship that he was constructing a replicator using the core. The IOA having concluded that the best way to destroy the Ori after the SGC had refused to destroy the Supergate was to unleash the replicators upon their forces. Carter sent Mitchell to get an anti-replicator gun, but when she deactivated the shield around it and blasted it, the ARG had no effect. The new replicators had been redesigned to be immune to the ARG and could only be shut down by an internally unspecified command code. While they searched for the replicator, Marek was confined to the ship's brig for his actions. After the replicator started to replicate and grow in numbers, they eventually found Marek and broke into his cell. He was trapped so they easily attacked him and seemingly took over his body, with what seemed to be an entire replicator having burrowed into his body to control his central nervous system and find out for themselves the built-in self destruct activator that the IOA had built in, so they could deactivate it. He eventually moved to be near the Replicator Queen and began fighting Mitchell. In spite of Mitchell's combat training, the Replicator enhanced Merrick proved much stronger and impervious to pain. Even being shot in the chest failed to stop him. He beat Mitchell severely and leaving him bleeding in several places. Merrick briefly managed to regain control of himself when Mitchell pulled out one of the replicator's legs, which had been stuck to the back of Merrick's head. Merrick was able to tell Mitchell where the self-destruct was, on the back of the data crystal he used to create them. Once the replicators regained control, Merrick brutally beat Mitchell before Mitchell managed to impale Merrick on an electrical conduit. This bought Mitchell enough time to get to his detonator and set off the explosions. The resulting explosion destroyed the Queen and disintegrated Merrick's body, putting him out of his misery. However, the replicator blocks of the replicator inside of Merrick reformed into the shape of a human skeleton and began to move back at Mitchell, possibly intending to kill him again until, at the last second, Carter inputted the self destruct, destroying all replicators, including the skeleton version, on board the Odyssey. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Stargate. Special thanks to the Stargate Wiki and all contributors for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.